um, a little sort of tutorial. I've been making um, papier-mâché, they can be a brooch or a pendant, or even a ring. I mean, that's probably too big, but a little less. I've been making it out of the usual thing, which is the air-dried papier-mâché clay, and then I've been soaking it in resin, so it's quite hard. Um, I've just painted it with sepia ink, and I've gilded it with not 24 karat gold leaf, but just a, a gold dyed aluminium leaf, and, and also this stuff, which is a shiny gold foil, which is lovely because you just rub it on the surface and scratch it in, and you get this fantastic golden effect, just shimmers in the cracks. Now it's dried, and what I need to do is strengthen it, and I found this incredible stuff, <laughs> everyone knows about it I suppose, called Milliput. Uh, sounds like it's come out of Gulliver's Travels, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, you mix it in two parts. There's um, a dull white and a white white. So you mix it in equal parts until it resembles this. And then what I do is I just, this is a little bit stiff because I've been holding on to it whilst I've been fiddling, fiddling around with the um, filming thing. So what I would do is literally just stick it onto the back like that. Quite bright, isn't it? Let's see if I can turn that around. Yeah, like that. And then with my thumbs, I just literally push it out to the edges. I'll show you in a sec. It's just going around quite nicely. And the wonderful thing about Milliput is you can wet it as well. So if I keep pushing it right to the edges, you will see in a second. It goes very easily and what I like about it is that you can either just take it off at the edge so it can't be seen at all or what I'm hoping will happen here is there will be some little bits um, coming, yeah little white bits coming around the edge and then I might just take this golden foil and what you do is you put the, the white bit around it and you squeeze it and it rather cleverly transfers the gold onto the white. Well, I say it does. In actual fact, it's been quite resistant. Here we go. Yes, it's beginning to work a bit better now. Just needs a bit more persuasion. So what I've done is I've just added a little gold just around the edges. Um, you have to take my word for it if you can't see it. And when this is dried, I will possibly paint into that with sepia again. The other thing I, you can do at this stage, because it's quite knobbly on the back, you can either let it dry and then sand it out, or take some water like that. Could use a sponge actually of sponge and just do that although I have to say I think it works better using one's fingers because you can you can feel where it's going and smooth it out quite easily in any case I quite like a sort of knobbly effect so then I leave it to dry and I'll come back to that in a little while I've um, been making lots of moulds recently using oh, silly gum, silly gum, yeah, that blue epoxy, and I'll show you how these have been developing. Um, I've got a lovely old ammonite, which I made into a mould, and I've got my sort of kiln is full of things there, which I'll show you shortly. Chaos reigns in my little studio. See you again soon. Okay, bye.